dudes um for you that don't not know me i am rufus fpv and to the guys that know me what's up guys and yeah what i'm here tonight for is to talk about the g-code fs1 frame dudes i can hands down say this is one amazing frame i've been flying this frame um for the past couple of months now and dudes, this is one beast of a frame um so yeah tonight i'm not going to be talking a lot about the frame i'm just here basically to show you guys how to assemble the frame uh, so i just like basically put it together quickly um slapped on some components to just give you a roughly idea how it looks as soon as it well, was as soon as it's assembled um so yeah guys this is how it looks like um as you can see it's a very low pro pro profile frame um so yeah it's due to the center point of gravity it's amazing uh, everything just slaps on there um you can catch me on my next episode i'm going to go a lot more into detail about this frame and my experience with the frame as i said i'm going to try to keep this short and sweet for you guys just to basically show you guys how to assemble the frame and what includes everything in the kit um you're gonna get so yeah dudes right dude so what we got here basically is um well it's my tba screwdriver set amazing you guys need this in your life if you haven't got it get it get it now just do it <laughs> so yeah that's basically all the tools you're gonna need uh and a 5.5 millimeter um socket um and then yeah basically so this is a 3d printed part that's where your crossfire um receiver uh i'm using nano se and but yeah the new one has changed as i said this is uh this was the prototype frame um so there's been a couple of changes small changes done here and there on the actual production frame man but don't worry i will run over that in my next episode um so yeah this is just like a basic understanding of assembling the frame so yeah whatever let's get to let's get to the point <laughs> so yeah this is basically a 3d printed part um put your crossfire receiver nano se uh the new one we did is going to be accommodating the you know the bigger brother as well and then you, there you've got your side plates um and that's going to be um well the screws are part here of this yeah and then here you have got your side plates and then obviously well this is the plates that goes with the camera uh, with the top part part and then you've got basically two sandwich plates right here four arms and that's your canopy uh, that goes over the uh, flight controller and everything and yeah and then this is your camera part right here and this is where your vtx gets mounted in the rear part of the frame so yeah dudes let's get the show on the road Sweet, so the first thing I always like to start with on this frame, well, I've only actually built it once though in the past and that's when I put it together a couple months ago. Ever since then, I've never taken an, apart the frame. It's about swapping arms, that's it. Uh, taking out broken arms, super, super easy to do that as well. So, yeah, what I'm basically going to start with tonight is just the camera pot. So, just to give you an idea, it has changed a little bit on the inside and stuff. Um, just made some small enhancements so yeah I'm not gonna take apart everything I'm just trying to keep it short and sweet I'll like I said in the next video I'll go a lot more into detail with the guys um, so yeah this is basically how it is and yeah here's your camera as uh, so right right run run cam swift 2 uh, the frame accommodates both full-size camera and micro cameras um, so basically what you just do is um, you put on this there's like two holes there. Um, I prefer to use the, the rear one. Um, so the camera sits a little bit more in and with the micro, you can use the front one as well. Um, so yeah, basically what you do is um, you put these two side plates onto your camera and you like literally just pop it in there. just basically press it into the frame sorry I got it wrong side around <laughs> yeah and that's how it's going to be sitting on the inside so what I love about this top part is um, I'm gonna show you guys that just now um, this is a soft mount for your GoPro it's also um, you know it keeps it on there and the way the um, 
the side plate has been designed is you got a strap running through the 3D mounts and through the the side plate as well and then you've got your standoffs and stuff um, like this and basically what you just do is you push it in there this whole thing just pushes into each other guarantee you that it's you know it's interlocking there interlocking in the front and um, but yeah you can't really see there in the back but it's also interlocking there as well so yeah that's basically how you assemble this front part for the FPV cam um, and then this guys this is for your VTX um, right well you can also check in the G code on you know in VR we move it you know very close up with how everything sits um, I'll put a link down in the description to the G-Code um, official channel so you can guys can check out all the you know like the finer details so well this is basically so you're just gonna put your 30 by 30 just use any plate or whatever or you can just like stick it in there with a little piece of double-sided tape your VTX and then you've got this little small little part this has changed on the new mount but how th this usually worked was you just push it in there and so this thing used to flip open so if you want to change out your VTX pigtail or something you can do that very easily without taking apart your whole frame and then yeah this goes in like that so yeah basically it's two parts 3D prints um, everything just pushes together really easy yeah and that's about it that's your rear port for your VTX and your VTX would be sitting on the inside and then your pigtail will just curl on the inside and protrude through the back um, there you can screw your antenna so but yeah I think I'm talking a little bit too much <laughs> getting more into detail this is just like a build video but whatever um, this is this is really cool two parts um, of this frame um, so what I like to start off next is um, putting the sandwich plates together um, well, this is this is what's awesome. Um, you got your sandwich plates and your VT, uh, your crossfire and your mortal T mount thingy uh, compartment basically uh, produce through the sandwich plates. So then your flight controller and everything is not actually part of the you know the the structural frame. So um, you know going through crashes and all that stuff, it really it really relieves the tension on your you know your components on the inside. Um, so yeah, so what you're basically going to do is you take your, this is your bottom plate and you're going to take the top plate What you're going to do is just You just really need to Start on getting the first arm in um, So you take your Screw you put it into your top plate and then you see there's two holes you put it on the, the furthest one out then you take your bottom plate and that just screws in right there there you go there's your first arm in um it's not being held together or held together your arms just with one screw don't worry about that uh, and then you can take your second arm just slide it in there i think you guys can already see what is the ease of changing arms Yeah, so they basically push up against each other. Um, you'll see why. A little bit further into the build, you'll check there's like a little nipple thing there. That's where they push against each other. Uh, the top plate has actually changed just a little bit, you know, just due to you know making the uh, support for the arms even more stronger than it already is. Uh, and yeah, so then you just continue doing. yeah that's basically that's basically your frame so guys if you just break an arm um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna loosen up two screws um, so you're gonna take this this part you see there's 
two screws going through, you know, where the, the arm assembles. So it's going to be that screw and that screw right there. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the top part. So guys, this is really, really simple uh, to put together. So what you just do is you'll see you've got your small little holes right there. Um, so you just line up those holes there. And what you do is just put in the screw. There. and then yeah you just continue doing all four of those holes so yeah basically when it's done that's how it looks on the front part and check out this side plate is protecting the camera very very well um, there's no way in hell you're gonna hit your camera and you know except if you hit like a pole straight on <laughs> So yeah, what you basically then the one side obviously you do on the other side. And yeah, that's it. Um, let's move on to the rear part. Yeah, dudes in there, you basically got it. Um, so, let me just show, show you one cool thing. Um, so, yeah, this is the top part. That's it. So, this whole part, um, what it does, it just like literally, you hook it in from the front. That's where this cup, this nipples right here comes in play. Just want to straighten this out. So, what you do is, um, as you see the standoffs and stuff there, you hook it over there and then you just clip it in into place and right there you will see there's some um, standoffs right there and then you have these little guys so what you do is um, you got your canopy sitting on the top right there um, and yeah you got your screw going right through the canopy basically you know like the top plates of any frame and yeah that then comes out the bottom and you're going to use a small little m3 screw um to you know so it's just like basically four screws that's that's holding this top pod and the, you know the standoffs are like really um, short so it's you know as soon as you assemble the whole frame it is really it's ridiculously strong so but yeah i'm not going to yeah, let me just show you one thing What's well, cool? If you want to work on your quad, you know, something happens to it. Shit, I don't have my GoPro with me. <laughs> so, yeah, basically, um, I don't know where the hell I put my GoPro. But, anyways, okay, say for instance, this is your GoPro. I'm just compromising here, man. Um, you had your GoPro on there. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. But anyways, you just you know loosen up the four screws. You don't even have to take off your GoPro to work on your quad. So there you've got your whole stack that's exposed. Um, leave this out of the way, and you can work on your stack freely from the side, from the top, from the front, from the back, whatever. Um, so yeah, then we are going to move on to the um, this mount right here. So you got these two parts right here. So what you do is you got the small ring. That's where your immortal T comes out. So you just put that together. You'll see how it lines up when you assemble the frame. It's really, really easy. So there's four parts coming together like this. Got your immortal T uh, sticking out both sides. So basically this part right here then is for your stack. So what I like to do then is I take this small little M3 nuts and I like to tighten them up. So yeah, I like to tighten them all four up so that this part doesn't, you know, come loose, whatever get you on know what I'm saying <laughs> so 
Yeah, that's just basically why I need the socket for. Let's just make that nice and tight. There's the first one in, and then you just continue doing uh, the three that's left. And there you have it, you put your ESC over there, your flight control over there, and all sorted. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the more important part of the frame. This is what I love, before I go past this part, soft mount, the GoPro. Dudes, you don't know how, strong, <laughs> how fit your GoPro is on you, it's like, it will never flip out on you. Um, so yeah. Let's hook it over there and there's your fry controller inside there completely protected by the canopy from the sides you know it's not like leaves and crap is gonna go in there so when you check it down here that's where your motors wires will be running and down through there it'll go onto your ESC and yeah as that as you check now pop open the canopy no wires exposed move on I guess this is the last part of the frame um, yeah you check there's small little holes right there those are the holes leading from this uh, the very short little standoffs on the inside on the production frame we've actually changed that and yeah we have put um, you know like a hex drive thingies in there but you'll get it um, you'll check it um, like I said I'm going to go all the finer details on the actual build of the frame putting the electronics and stuff in so um, so yeah what you're gonna do is you have your canopy right there and so the screws will be going through there um, so yeah basically this is what you get uh, you get your you know those four screws shooting through the canopy um, through the standoff uh, inside the 3D prints and then it's coming out the bottom here and you get your uh, M3 nuts going right there and got your and it's got like a washer thingy you know keep it nice and strong so the screw don't go through the through the canopy Just get nice and tight, like proper, and I can guarantee you, you ain't gonna be bending standals and you know breaking anything on the inside. And yeah, dudes, there basically got it. And remember to catch me on my next video. Um, I'm gonna go a lot more into detail about this, and yeah, just wanna show you guys how easy it is to assemble the frame you know it's it takes quite you know some time to assemble it but yeah as soon as you got everything together guys it's super easy to take everything out let me just show you one quick thing before i leave um how quick it is to change an arm if you break an arm in the field super super easy so what you're basically going to do is remember you've got your four screws right here so you're going to loosen up one of these screws bit clumsy tonight you know what's going on with me and then you just like basically push that screw out there you go that one is out you know take out one screw so I've broken the right front arm and then you loosen up this screw right here that's it so you take out you see there no screw there's a screw slide out your arm Take the new arm, slide it back in there. And what's nice is, like I said earlier, um, there's no arms attached to your stack. That's the brilliant part about this frame. 
That's what I like most. There you go. So you've got your screw back, two screws back in there, and you take your small little M3 nut, got it on there, and then, oops. Make it nice and tight. And there you have it, dudes. Remember to catch me on the next episode, show you how I put all my electronics into the frame. Super easy to put together, and as soon as the whole thing is together, maintenance on this quad is like a breeze, man. And um, yeah, hope to catch you on the next uh, on the next episode again, show how I put all my electronics inside here, and peace.